Hello and welcome back to Undertale, everybody. This is the Raven Gamer. Last time we fought the Great Papyrus and lost. But. Oh no. Oh no, sad skeleton. No! My friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! I, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to get people awful puzzles and then fight them? <laughs> you taught me a lot, human. I never regret your permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power, and then use those monsters to return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you, to reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters, he is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. Did well, that happened. Let's go back and see him. I believe he's probably in the locked house. Please don't enter the mysterious shack. Okay. Getting back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I guess I like to spend a lot of time. Not the library. Wait. Oh no, it's this is adorable. My house! Oh, this is cool. Favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's better it's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes in it. Sans, please pick up your socks. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Oh dear, that's funny, everybody. Uh, it's just a food, mu food museum. Culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? That I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. The dog! Cats that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> what? Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Oh dear, this is this game is adorable, everybody. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum <laughs> quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics books was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Well. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. The door is locked. Uh that's my room. If you finish looking around, you can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Yes. Oh my god, he has a race car bed. Oh my god, he has amiibos. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! So, um, you've seen everything. You want to start the date? Uh, not yet. Let's look around a little more. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Oh, no. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns and goofy font. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. 
Look in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Isn't that flag neato? A knight found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a school skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Aw. That's cute. This is a very cute scene. Hey, those are all those attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Okay, I should make sure to save before... Uh... The door's locked, I think. I think this is everything. I can... Couch? It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside it. You got 20G! Nice! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Oh no, that's adorable. Okay, I think we've seen everything, so let's start that date. Okay, it's dating start. Dating start. On our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I said an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key for your control HUD. For your dating HUD. I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. Hi, the great papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Really? Oh my god, that face. And for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to me from the very beginning. Yes. Oh no, that face. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Yeah, yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Oh my god, yes. I love it. No, a genuine compliment! This is the tensest battle of history. You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This day won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My hat? My hat? My hat? Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. PASTA! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh so- What? Artisans work. Silk and spaghetti. Finally aged in an oaken cask. And then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human! It's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! You take a small bite. Your face reflectively stretches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression, you must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Me is more than I do! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no, this is adorable. Oh no, it's cute. Human, it's clear now, you're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. Hi, Papyrus. Um, boy. It is hot in here. Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human. I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me! 
A dark prison of fashion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. I love Papyrus. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Oh no, that's adorable. That is absolutely fucking adorable. The door is locked. I can't go see Sans with his mysterious flowing lights. Aww. Lock from the inside. Huh. Stat. Tough glove. So. Snowden. Home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Oh no. Right, 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 there's that area up there, but I want to save because it'll heal me. Woo! I'm gonna see what happens if you stay at the end. Aw, this is cute. Huh. <laughs> You're only up there for about two minutes. Oh, my HP went up! Look, my HP is 30 out of 20, so I have a bit of an HP buffer. Okay. That's really useful. And it didn't cost that much because I didn't stay the full night. I stayed like two minutes, apparently. What's up here? Oh, no, the world feels so boundless. Monsters and humans. You're gonna maybe be the human again. Ah, what do people knock? Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Okay, that's somewhat weird. Okay, so just knocking on it doesn't do anything. Ring, ring. P2G. This is the wrong number. Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that you got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We <laughs> said so that you got it wrong. Click. What? Oh. Toriel. No. Sad face. Oh, that li library. Librarbly. I can't speak. That is something only the great papyrus can do. <laughs> oh, this is really weird. This is a really weird effect. It's a little trippy. I'm not sure if I like it. This is pretty. Echo flower. Reads the last thing I heard over and over. Ha! See her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be like when I grow up. Don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha ha. Sound of rushing water fills with determination. And sends! Job with the guy with two jobs. Two jobs means twice as required, legally required breaks. Yeah, I'm always agree with these. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Sans, were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> I like Sans. Sans is cool. Watch me sit down so I remember what we could. I want a burger. Sans is my fave. What do you think of my brother? Of course he's cool. 
It would be cool if you, too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Ah, papyrus. The, the fact that Sans is super cheerful about his brother. Bon appetit. Oh, eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. I like Sans. One day he went out the house in the really yard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course she shut him down, shut the door on him because it was midnight. So I'm still waiting there. Warrior training, it's uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. A talking flower, yes. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the pirates told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, okay! That was a long break. I can't believe you've been for work that long. Oh, by the way. I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just found food. Just kidding. Grill me. Put the food on my tab. By the way, I, I was going to say something, but I forgot. With that, we have gone on a date with the great Papyrus. We have hung out with our bro, Sans. And that is all we are going to do for this episode of Undertale. So as I walk to the right, back into the waterfall areas with the talking flowers... Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below about the best date you've ever been on, or if you haven't been on a date, what your ideal date would be, and I will see you next time, so let's let the good times roll!